Cypher, India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform eSports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. New Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. It's you, Cypher Time. My name is Aisha and this is Varun and today we bring to you the very exciting deciding match between the Marksmen and the Akramux for the third position. It was a true clash of the titans yesterday as the Sheridals went up against the Marksmen to secure their spot in the finals. It ended in a tie and after winning the tie-breaking toss, the Marksmen elected to play CSGO, which the Sheridals beat them at. And the Sheridals are now going into the finals, but before that, we still have to find out who our second runner-up is going to be. So without wasting any more time, let the battle begin. Team Akramax, final ke itne pass aake, aap har gaye. Aapko kya lagta hai ki last time aapki kya galti hui thi in the semis ki aap bahar ho gaye? Series go ne to jeet liya tha. Ha, humne hamara kaam kiya tha. Single players game nahi kar paaye. Isko ek six par na tha ya four. Usne nahi mara. Aur Dota walo se to umid thi jo waisa hi khele. Ne usse better khele actually. Ha, thoda. Better khele. Matlab. Last time, like 17 years ago. They go to the house for food and they go to the plate and they go to the house. Same story. Sagar, you say it every time. You don't like it. Listen to me. You say it. Marks are a bad team. A bad team. These are bad people. Oh, it's karma, right? Yes, we're bad people. We say it every time. We've become a bad people. But the third place is not bad. Yes, the third place is not bad. Jokes apart, we will try to get third because I always wanted to be down below. And maybe that will happen today. Kappa, you were aiming for the first, then for the second, now for the third, for the fourth. In the game, the game will win. The one who wins the game will win. Don't give up. And give it all. And all the very best, Akramax. Just one more time. Akramax! Akshay! 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 Alright guys, Marksman, for the last time, welcome to you Cypher. Before we get into what's going to happen today, Venom, I'd like to hear your thoughts about your defeat for the finals. I would say we were unlucky um, because uh, the first time when we won the CS match, we were pretty confident that the Dota guys would take it but then some strategy issues happened and we couldn't take the Dota game and later on I had no option but to win the toss and take CS which I did but unfortunately the Veer Bhadra's health you know was wasn't that well that day we weren't uh, at our 100% uh, that day but if we would have been there on our 100 uh, with our 100% then I am definitely sure that we would have taken that game okay let's not forget that today is for the third position uh, and you guys are playing the Akramux. Now, Venom, Aapki and Kappa ki rivalry, you Cypher ke prior hi bahut famous rahi hai. How important is it to beat the Akramux and specifically Kappa? Uh, it's very important, uh, but at the same time, uh, this is a new day, this is a new game. So, we are not thinking that we are playing the lower bracket match. Uh, it's a fresh start for us again. And uh, first time, uh, we had won. Second time, we lost. So, this is the final time we are taking them. This is the decider. So, we want our revenge and we want to end, end on a high note. So that's the plan going forward. Well, a captain is only as strong as his team and you guys seem to feel really strong today. This is for the third position of you, Cypher. And I really hope you guys go on a high, like you said. All the best, Marksman. Thank Good you. luck. Always on target. Always on target. Always on target. Always on target. Welcome to you, Cypher. 
Today we have the third and fourth place decider between the Aftermarks and the Marksmen. More importantly, we are one match away from the finals. Yes, today it's the third and fourth place because these two teams lost in the semi-finals. Right. Aftermarks lost to Yakshas and Marksmen had lost a battle to Shadels. It was a very close match, especially it for was Marksmen. A very close match. Uh, they were just about to reach the finals, but last May on Dota team ne. कैपिटलाइज नहीं किया और वो मैच शायद इसके सामने हार गए दे वॉन्ट टू प्रूव अ पॉइंट बिकॉज जब फर्स्ट राउंड रॉबिन हुआ था तभी मार्क्समैन ने उन्हें क्लीन स्वीप किया था सो टुडे इट्स प्योरली दे वॉन्ट टेक दैट स्वीट रिवेंज एंड वॉन्ट फिनिश थर्ड आर वी हेल्प फॉर टाइम ब्रेक का Looks likely because again both the teams are strong in their respective games out here. Yeah. And I'm really excited because these two teams are going to face off for the last time in New Cipher and may the best team win, man. All right, so let's stop talking and see if Afro Ninja can come up with a performance that we haven't seen in the past. Or Checkmate can run all over him. Tekken 7 coming up next. Players up the characters select karenge. हर राउंड में जिसका एच खत्म हो जाएगा वो राउंड हार जाएगा हर मैच एक लेस है तीन राउंड्स जीतने की और जो प्लेयर पहले तीन मैचेस जीतेगा वो बनेगा टेक इन सेवन का विनर लेट द बैटल बिगिन। वन लास्ट टाइम चेकमेट वर्सेस एफ्रो निंजा एफ्रो निंजा अभी तक आपने चेकमेट को इस साइफर में बिल्कुल नहीं हराया ये आपका आखिरी मौका है तो आज योर टीम नीड्स अ विक्ट्री ताकि आप थर्ड आओ नहीं ऐसा है कि इसके पहले बहुत प्रैक्टिस की थी मैंने और देखा प्रैक्टिस करके क्या होता है जीता तो मैं एक गेम भी नहीं और आज तो मैं बिना प्रैक्टिस करके आया हूँ देखते क्या होता है अंदर खेलो यो लो स्ट्रैटेजी है ये गेम के लिए बहुत वैलिड स्ट्रैटेजी है ऐसा डिनाई नहीं कर सकते आपने एफ्रो निंजा को हर बार हराया यू मे नॉट रीच द फाइनल एंड विन द टाइटल बट यू एंड विद विक्ट्री एंड वो इम्पोर्टेंट रहता है हाँ वो इम्पॉर्टेंट रहता है बट सामने वाला मतलब एक खेलने का मज़ा भी रहता है और शेखर के साथ मुझे हमेशा मज़ा आया खेलने को क्योंकि जैसे वो अग्रेसिव स्टाइल ही मुझे अच्छा लगता है हंस के साथ भी मैंने उसको वही करवाया कि भाई आगे कर तू निकल के मार यार कितना तू पीछे ब्लॉक करके करेगा आओ मारो मेरे को मैं आके आपको मारता हूँ लेट्स इन्जॉय है फन ऑल द बेस्ट चेक मेट ऑल द बेस्ट आपको इन्जॉय थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट गुड लक Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ecipher League. It's time for Tekken 7 between the Marksman and the Akramax. On Akramax we have Afro Ninja and on Marksman we have Devraj. Round 1. Fight. Well, and the fight begins. A good side step from Dragon at the start of the round and breaks the joint of Alisa over there. Now Alisa going low on HP while she is on rage art but not much time given to her and knocks her out. Round two. Fight. And well, Alisa just confusing Dragonov over here with her moves. Well, Dragonov now is into the corner, but Alisa is unable to like put some pressure on over here. Well, Dragonov is now going low on HP. He took some like serious amount of damage from Alisa, but now returning that favor on her. And Alisa and Dragonov both are on rage right now, but Alisa is gonna face a knockout. Round three. Fight. And the round starts, and Dragonov again with the move like breaks a joint, and now Alisa has already gone on 50% of her HP, and Dragonov again putting some pressure. Well, Alisa is on rage art and a hit away from knock out. Marks are in match number one of best of five, three nil. Round one. Fight. So after Ninja deciding to change the character to Kazumi, one of his favorite characters, but still Dragonov putting the same amount of pressure on Kazumi over here. And now Kazumi will load HP like not a single damage dealt over here on Dragonov, and he is gonna start the round with a perfect round two fight. Now she's at respecting and making a distance from Dragonov, and Dragonov good blocks from him, not taking a single damage. From Kazumi over here, like pushing her into the corners, and again a second perfect in a row. Come on, record one round. Round three. Fight. A good block at the start again, and breaks the joint, and and Kazumi going low as on HP again. Well, a good trade off between these two players, and now Kazumi does have the rage art and missing that uppercut move, and now getting whip punished for it. 
Well, she is now stuck into the corners and a hit away from knockout, and there it goes, and she has to face a knockout. So marks and win match number two, three nil. Round one, fight. <laughs> And Kazumi over here is maintaining the distance, but Dragunov putting the same amount of pressure as he was putting on Alisa. And finally, the lunging tiger comes from Kazumi and Dragunov, and both of them low on HP, equal amount of HP on each other, and both of them missing those moves and the rage out at the same time. What is going on in the game? And now, who will execute that rage at first? Maintaining that distance between each other, just respecting each other, and Dragunov with the rage drive on Kazumi knocks her out. Kazumi just falling back at the start of the round and the tiger comes in to save her and drag off again with that same amount of pressure on Kazumi. Kazumi now stuck into the corners but a good trade off from her just to come back out of that corners and the rolling tiger. A good sidestep from Dragunov over here. Kazumi low on HP. Well she has a reach out but has to face a knockout by Dragunov. Round 3 well, the round starts with Kazumi giving Dragunov some decent amount of damage and now Dragunov, a good uppercut block from Kazumi over here Well, she is now into the corners and she's going low on HP, pulls the rage out, well, it does connect and that is gonna deal some huge damage on Dragunov, Dragunov going low on HP but still a huge HP lead compared to Kazumi over here and finally a knockout coming in for the Archer Marks and Marksman wins the game. And now, the fantasy game that has shaped the reality of gamers all around the world. Both our captains are CSGO professionals, so this is going to be slightly personal for them. Check out the rules for CSGO. In this game, there are two teams. One is a terrorist team and the other is a counter-terrorist team. This is a team-based game that will be played in 5 vs 5 in the format. Players will play which map will be played in a banning process. शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 डॉलर्स की गेम करेंसी मिलती है। The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it or kill all the counter terrorists. The aim of the counter terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. अभी हमारा मैच है आक्रामक्स के अगेंस्ट ठीक है थर्ड प्लेस मैच है भाई ये तो जीत लो जितना ही पड़ेगा तो हमेशा की तरह अपना नसीब खराब भी है टेकन वाला तो ठुक गया अपना क्रिकेट वाले पे भी भरोसा कर नहीं सकते अपने को तो जीतना ही जीत जाएंगे ये गेम कैश खेलते हैं कैश में तीन तीन गोल बता आज विक्ट्री में उसको कन्वर्ट करते हैं और सेलिब्रेट करते हैं। एक बार और क्राइ हो जाए। ऑल इज़ ऑन टारगेट। गो ऑन इट। गो ऑन इट। टारगेट। गो ऑन इट। विद मी आई हैव आर वेरी इलेक्ट्रिफाइंग कैप्टेन्स फ्रॉम द आक्रमक्स वी हैव कप्पा एंड मिथिल एफ हु इज़ द हाईएस्ट फ्रैगर इन सीएसगो सो फार � and we have Venom, equally deadly, captain of the Marksmen with Rix. Okay guys, the last two games that you played were really close. Up ek hare or ek jite. And both the times you guys played on the Inferno map, right? Yeah. You guys are, I know, not the bestest of friends. And this is a less than friendly match. But try and be nice to me, because I hold your fate. Okay, whoever wins this is going to decide whether they ban or pick. Cool? Any specific surprises we're seeing today? Ah, आज तक मेरा एक player खेला नहीं था, उसको आज खेला रहा हूँ, KP. KP, is this a strategy or just because you think he deserves a shot? नहीं, ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. मुन्ना बोला उसको खिला, खिला रहे. मुन्ना? Badman. Oh, Badman. So KP is playing and Badman is not playing. हाँ. All right, who's gonna call? मैं करूँ. Edge. And it is Tails. Ban Karo, no? Yes. 
I'll pick. You will pick. Yeah. So you ban first. Overpass ban. Okay. Mm, cobble ban. Train ban. Train ban. Mirage ban. First move ban. New ban. Cash inferno, right? Cash and inferno. Uh, we'll play inferno. Inferno it is again. All right, guys. For the third time, you guys are going to be playing inferno, and this is going to decide who's better, at least at this map. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. These guys look very happy, man. I'd be a little scared, but all the best. Thank you. Good luck, Kappa. Thank you. Kill it, guys. Good luck. Hello everyone, it's time for counter strike between the marksman and the Acre marks. So this is the favorite map of the marksman and they have chosen Inferno again. And the players are now gonna assemble towards the mid for a knife round and the winner gets to choose the side of the slicing begin. Pawn gets the first frag on Kappa. The captain goes down and SMX slow in over here and now it's gonna be Veer Badra to get the last frag. KP KP is not much more than knife round. That was the ultimate side. So we have three people in the mid. So five people went down. We hit one and one stab. We hit one or two. So it was a 3v2 round. So they won the knife round. So the marksman won the knife round and choose to play as CTs first. They want to take the advantage of the Inferno map being a CT sided map. So let's see, it's gonna be a four man setup from the marksman towards the alley side. It looks like a rush coming in from the after marks. A good morning just to move the players from the comfortable positions and KPKP KP moving in. First strike and it's gonna be pawn to shut him down with an instant tap to his head and now SMX moving in going for the frag but he is now low on HP damn it giving a huge amount of damage to the Akramux over here it's gonna be SMX in a one on three situation well he is low on HP just 20% of HP left on him well it's gonna be slow and hiding towards towards the triple box over here and Riggs gets a nice shot on SMX as SMX goes down जैसे पीछे मुड़ के देखा तो पॉन वहाँ से ऐसे मतलब बदीर जैसे हाउस देख रहा था वो वहाँ से तो मैंने उसको एक बुलेट मारा और फिर मैं फॉल करके बालकनी का ही पुश देखने लगा वहाँ से तो फिर अचानक से वहाँ पे नॉडी आ गया रिक्स जो इनकेम नहीं है उसका वो आया उधर उसको भी मार दिया well now it's gonna be SMX and throws the molly well he spots a player that molly is gonna push out slow in from his position and gets an instant kill and now SMX going towards the graveyard he spots Venom on to the side and Venom goes down as well so now it's gonna be Veer Badra with his op a one on four situation looks like he is going for a save on the bomb side B and now SMX comes in couldn't jump properly and now he is down a nice whip punish for him and a tap towards the leg on Manan, he goes low on HP but still managing to get a kill on Veer Bhadra. Ah. The Akramaks are playing really well in the game. They are on two round lead from the marksmen. Let's jump into round number nine. Good molly that would actually make the players push towards the house side and now it's gonna be SMX to get a frag towards the mid. Well a good kill from the nade as well from SMX, pawn goes down making it a 2v4 situation, SMX is just rushing in YOLO and now gets a frag on Venom as well. Well he is just on fire right now and Kappa just completing the formality for the team getting the last kill. The Akramaks are just destroying the marksmen and now the marksmen are trying to make a comeback into the game. This is the last round of the first half and Rix with his op trying to make a sneak peek towards mid. Well he spots a player towards the alt mid and gets a nice kill on Mithil over here and SMX pushing towards the house and gets a kill on Venom. Well Rix low on HP towards the mid and that running shot to KPKP with a CZ. A nice kill from Rix over here and now slow in towards the pits gets a kill on SMX. He's playing well and now SM Rix with an amazing shot to Manan. 
it's only Kappa left in a one on four situation where he finds slow in and gets him down. It's gonna be a 1v3 now. Pawn coming in from behind to, from the mid left gets a kill on Kappa. So the first half score is 9 to 6. It's time for second half and now the Akramaks are gonna play as CTs and the Marksmen as Ts. The Akramaks have a 3 round lead over the Marksmen. Looks like the Marksmen are pushing towards the alley side and there's a heavy push. And the Akramaks couldn't handle it and Mithil and KPK we are already down. Over here and now when I'm pushing on to the side well it's gonna be top to just finish off with a single tap and now he goes down an instant trade from the players made over here and Manan goes down as well now it's gonna be SMX alone left in a 1v3 situation for the Akramux well he is thinking to go through the smoke but now he goes in and that instant kill on him Well, it's going a neck-to-neck -neck fight between these two teams and the Akramaks need one more round for match point. The marksmen are now on an eco and the, the economy for them has been destroyed by the Akramaks and Venom pushing towards the arch side gets a kill on Manan. Manan goes down instantly and now a push coming in and Kappa has been notified for it. पहला वाला आर्च साइड से आया स्पीड वैसे उसने जंप मारा मैंने उसको हवा में मार दिया एक एक बुलेट चला डबल किल लिया मैंने एक बुलेट में दो को मारा चौथा बंदा था उसने स्मोक डाला मेरे सामने मेरे को पता था कि अभी ये इधर से वॉक वॉक करते हुए आना वाला मैं फटाफट वो बॉक्सेस के ऊपर चढ़ा शॉट लिया स्मोक के ऊपर से उसको मैंने देख लिया और मार दिया Kappa just turning the round for the Akramaks over here. What an amazing gameplay from him leaving slow in in a one on four situation. And now slowing on towards the side, well he is struggling with his accuracy but finally managing to get a kill on Mithil. Slowly pushing towards slow and gets a nice headshot on him. So Akramaks are now on match point. So they need this round to win this game. And Kappa again towards the alley with the op shot but misses the shot, couldn't connect. And now the players from the marksmen are rushing towards the side. Kappa gets the first frag onto Venom and second kill on Pawn. Second kill coming in as well for Kappa. The third kill as well. Veer Bhadra goes down. Now it's on Rakes and Kappa shuts him down as well. Bringing the whole team of the marksmen single handedly down. And the Akramaks win the game. Inferno favorite map. Lia. City side. Lia, jo strong side hai Inferno map. Ka. Uske baad bhi thuke. Wo captain hai marksmen ka. और खुद का गेम ही नहीं बचा पा रहा दिस वॉज द डिसाइडिंग मैच टू डिटर्मिन विच सी एस गो स्क्वाड इज बेटर सिंस यू गाइज हेड वन वन ईच बिफोर एंड क्लियरली इट इज द आक्रमक्स बिकॉज यू गाइज जस्ट गॉट फाइव मोर पॉइंट फॉर योर टीम गाइज कपा यू गॉट के पी टू प्ले दिस गेम एंड इट क्लियरली वर्क He got 18 fags, I think. So, अगली बार जब आप U Cipher में वापस आओगे, will we see more of KP? हाँ, क्यों नहीं? क्यों नहीं? But this was the last time you guys both played uh, CS GO on U Cipher. Yeah. कैसा मतलब मजा आया कि नहीं आया? बहुत मजा आया. अच्छा है CS खेला and इन लोगों ने काफी अच्छा खेला तो हमें अपनी गलतियाँ पता चली. Next में काफी अच्छे से prepare कर पाएंगे and हम लोग ने तो गलत गंदा खेला ही खेला बट इन लोग ने बहुत अच्छा खेला सो आई यू गाइज होपिंग दैट यू गाइज गेट टू प्ले सी एस गो अगेन बिकॉज अगर टाई होगा देन आई एम गेसिंग योर बोथ योर टीम्स विल वॉन्ट टू प्ले सी एस गो जजिंग बाई हाउ इट्स बिन है इन आर चैम्पियनशिप सो फार लेकिन अभी कुछ पता नहीं है अभी कुछ पता नहीं है फॉर नाउ द मार्क्स मैन आर एट थ्री एंड द आखिर मार्क्स आर एट फाइव वी स्टिल डोंट नो विच ऑफ यू गाइज इज गोइंग टू बी एट द थर्ड स्पॉट एंड टेक होम सिक्स लैक्स सो की फायरिंग गाइज खुशी से लेकिन की फायरिंग गुड लक After game number two, the scores are Akramaks at five and Marksman at three. The reason all the matches are watched from the boundary line is because every time you hit the ball, that's where you'll find it. The interesting part about this matchup is that both these players have had a record of hitting six sixes in one over. Will they repeat the feat? Let's find out. ये एक batting only match है. हर player एक over face करेगा जिसमें उसे maximum runs बनाने होंगे. 
मैक्सिमम रन बनाने वाला प्लेयर मैच जीत जाएगा टाई होने पर दोनों प्लेयर्स एक सुपर ओवर खेलेंगे टू डिसाइड द विनर कौन कॉल कर रहे हैं tails batting first all the best we'll be chasing hello everyone it's time for real cricket between the akramaks and the marksmen on akramaks we have sagar vyas ek love sx and on marksmen we have takur rohit it's going to be sagar vyas from akramaks to bat first first ball comes in and that's is going to be a huge hit it's going for a 6 and the second ball of the over and that's a big again but it's going to go for a 4 the two balls 10 runs third ball of the over and that's a huge again but it's a 4 for him again and looks like it's going big but it's a four sagar vyas four balls 18 runs well he misses the fifth ball and this is the last ball of the over and that's a huge hit but it's on but it's a four again so the marksman now need 23 runs to win this game First ball comes in, and that's a huge hit directly out of the stadium. It's a six. Second ball comes in, and he misses it. So two balls, six runs. And this is a huge hit. and it's a six as well fourth ball of the over and it's going for a four so four balls 16 runs and this is going to be a huge hit and it's going for a six It's going to be the last ball, and that's a huge hit, and they have won the game. We have come to the last game of the day, and it's been a really turbulent day, to be honest. Our scoreboard has been jumping with every single game but at the moment the Akramaks are at 5 and the Marksmen are leading with 6 points. This rules out the possibility of a draw which means whoever wins this last game will secure the second runner up position in New Cipher. So have a look at the magical game that holds the fate of our teams right now. Dota 2 Dota 2 mein har player apne liye ek hero select karenge. इस गेम में दो टीम्स कंपीट करेंगी इन अ फाइव वर्सेस फाइव फॉर्मेट हर हीरो के पास स्पेशल पावर्स और एबिलिटीज होती हैं। हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंट्स को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी वो टीम जीतेगी एंड वेनम वी मीट अगेन You guys have a spring in your step. It's like you're going to be free after this. Like in today, only one of you is going to be in the top three teams of you cipher, and it's all come down to Dota 2. But you guys are CS:GO players, and you don't even get to play yourself. So are you feeling, uh, I don't know, helpless, nervous? Nervous? No, I was not helpless. 
क्या कर सकता हूँ मेरा गेम नहीं है अगर मेरा गेम होता तो खेल लेता था एंड में मुझे आवाज करने को तो मिलता दैट्स ट्रू वी वेली हॉर्ड इज क्विक फ्रॉम योर टीम टूडे बट आज सब बहुत मजे से खेल रहे हैं यू थिंक दर टेकिंग इट अटल लाइटली आई डोंट थिंक सो एनी वन इज टेकिंग इट लाइटली बिकॉज वी बोथ हैव ड्रॉप डाउन वी आर नॉट इन द फाइनल्स बट दिस गेम इज प्रिटी सीरियस बिकॉज इट्स फॉर द सेकंड रन ऑफ स्पॉट एंड देर इज मनी इन्वॉल्व बट पिछली बार जब मार्क्समैन आक्रमक्स के साथ खेले थे डोटा टू द मार्क्समैन वन इज दिस अटल थ्रेटनिंग टू योर डोटा टीम मेरा डोटा टीम तुक्का मारा दो बार दो बार जीते कोई ना कोई कभी भी डूबा सकता है ओ माय गॉड सो दिस सीम्स लाइक इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ फील्ड डे फॉर बोथ योर टीम्स दे आर जस्ट गोइंग टू गो एट इट बट ओनली वन ऑफ द टीम्स आर गोइंग टू मेक इट टू द टॉप 3 इन यू साइफर गाइस इट्स बीन अ प्लेजर गेटिंग टू नो यू गाइस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर गेम्स कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर डिप्लोमेसी यू गाइस हैव सच डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ बीइंग कैप्टेंस इट्स बीन सो कूल टू वॉच थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट गुड लक Season one of You Cipher, where we got the Akramans on the dial facing off versus the Marksmen on the Radiant, who picked up a punch and are probably going to give away first blood. Make believe picking up that kill, red. Not much he can do there. Middle lane now, five minutes in. It's night time as Blue Frog comes about. They've gone in on Zark and they'll get that kill. Kiko off to a decent start on the stinker. Itachi God could be in trouble himself, but it will be Blue Frog that ends up losing his own life. Max tanking up a lot here while looking for that kill on Itachi God. Top lane, make believe, just trying to farm away. 14 minutes in, he's got a perseverance not ideal. He'd like to be closer to that battle fury, and he's gonna get actually pushed further behind. As this archer god is here with the dismember, make believe, trying to blink away, but the maledict was there. And look at this, the marksman will find more as the storm spirit rotates, and they find the vengeful spirit. They're going in on the tier two tower on the top lane now. 24 minutes in, the score line sitting at eight to six, just a 2k net worth lead in favor of the marksman. After Mux getting in position to try and defend this with a smoke rotation coming up, Blue Frog pops the darkness, goes to work, silences up the Juggernaut, who's being controlled now, but he gets the Guardian Angel to keep himself alive. He's going forward, Mage slices and dices with the Omni Slash, doing a lot of damage as Zark comes in with the zip as well. Kiko getting forced out the way towards the high ground as Dream looks like he may not be so fortunate. However, make believe with the Mana Boy just shatters the Storm Spirit. And then goes on to bring himself up to a double kill with the death on red. Now Mage is in trouble as well. Pashu drops down the paralyzing cast. It does turn him up a little bit, but it's not enough as they end up losing three on the side of the marksman. Make it four as Make Believe gets a triple kill on the back of Pashu's death. Marksman, they're gonna sneak in an early Roshan here without much of a net worth advantage. Do the Akramaks even know what is going on? They're not moving towards the pit. The Night Stalker needs to probably get the fight started, but they are missing their Underlord. And at the end of it all, I think the Akramaks are just gonna give up Roshan. They had no clue what is going on, and Itachi God with the hook finds the Night Stalker. Blue Frog caught out of position, will end up falling. Zark with the Aegis picks up that kill for himself, and the Marksman. They find more than just ages here. As Pashu ends up going down, Kiko with the heat-seeking missile and the laser fight in lane. Blue Frog. He thinks his tier two tower is a safe space to be at, but he's going to probably end up going down. The Juggernaut is here. Blue Frog barely survives, but the Omni Slash will find them the Venture Spirit and the Marksman with a man advantage, which is move up into the enemy high ground. Now Kiko is here with the Mars Band. That is enough, but they catch the Underlord. The hook is there. They'll bring down the Underlord. He probably should end up going down. The Nullifier upon him. The Mal. 
dig for good measure. That's a buyback coming up from Dream. The Marksman still pushing for high ground here. Storm zips in deep. He's losing mana and HP. Probably needs to get away the hook. Natalie misses. Make believe is here. He's trying to search forward. Kiko with the lasers refracting, doing a fair amount of work, but Zark is gonna zip away. Null fire coming up from the Omni Knight. Returned by the anti mages. I accept the mage. Pops the mana style. Looks to man up. Pops the blade free as well, but gets swapped out of position. Max with the swap controlling the juggernaut. They should probably find the skill, but the glimmer cape is there. And with the guardian angel and the purification, mage can look to turn. The dead for doing a good amount of work, but Zark ends up falling. Mage did manage to find Max down the ventral spin, and the Underlord will also be going down here for the Akramaks. They're chasing for more. Make believe and the juggernaut trying to man fight each other. The hope. Widely off the mark, but the marksmen, they have once again managed to find a couple of key pickoffs here. And that'll be a lane of barracks going towards the marksmen. They search. It's not you. over just yet, though, because Podge could be in a bit of trouble himself as Make Believe is going forward. Another four star gets him out. This fight has gone on a lot longer than it should have, but it looks like marksmen are going to pay the price for it now. Make Believe going forward. Mage comes in, though. Mage really here to seal the deal as Zark follows through, goes to work on Blue Frog, gets that kill on the Night Soccer. This is looking horrible for the side of Aftermax. They're just losing heroes left right and center inside their own base Kiko with that glimmer cape being kept alive for now as he does manage to get back to the fountain alongside the anti-mage on the top lane now mage going to work with blade fury once again chipping away on the tier 3 tower they've gone in on the tankiest hero which is the underlord on the side of the aftermath the nullifier committed as well the underlord is down for 75 seconds no buyback for him and this could be another lane of barracks claimed by the marksman there's the omni slash going to work the swap actually working against Kiko there as he ends up taking a bit of damage himself doesn't quite go down as he blinks back into the fountain but the damage has been done. It's mega creeps in favor of the marksman here as they're about to see a victory at U Cypher Season 1. Akramux, I mean, they were completely outplayed despite having an anti mage to deal with the Storm Spirit. Make believe he was kited left, right, and center with all those glimmer capes. And look at it, once more he goes in, the hex is there. At the least, he should be finding the Omni Knight, but even that kill's been denied to him. He's moving for the bodge, he's gonna find that kill. The electric vortex coming out actually being. Returned back by the Ag Sept on the anti mage, but Kiko managed to find the double marksman. They're pounding away on the throne. After Max, they're gonna fight till the better end. Kiko low on mana, still hanging around. Make believe is here. There is a glimmer cape coming out on the Tinker. Not sure who that is, but Make believe will manage to find the Omni Knight. He's chasing for the Storm Spirit, but Zark will just zip away. After Max, still searching for some sort of retaliation here. They're thrown all by itself. They've lost three sides of barracks. They will find the Storm Spirit at the very least. I really don't know. How they come back though. This is I mean, and they've still got a breakthrough a tier two tower at the middle lane if they want to make a comeback here. But they're trying against all odds here. Here's the Guardian Angel coming out. Make believe just single-handedly jumping about the map, carrying his team. Not able to do enough, however. Bounce just coming through there. There's the Death Watch channel up as well. They'll end up getting the kill of the Vengeful Spirit. And with the pullback, they're also gonna be able to bring down the Underlord. That's multiple heroes down on the side of Akramax. Tinker goes down, and while he may have a buyback, the Ancient is falling. The GG comes out. Make believe will tap out. And after a long and painful attempt, it looks like the Marksman will claim victory here at U Cypher Season 1. Well, they were distraught after losing the semi-final to the Shared Dills. But more than just a little consolation for these guys and Venom here, because not only have you now secured third spot, but you've also beaten your arch rivals, the Akramux, in pretty good fashion. Are you a little bit more satisfied today than where you were the last time around? Yeah, you can say that. I wanted to go out on a high note, and I will take this uh, win as a high. Coming into the league, and pretty early on, we saw the Akramux, as you said, had perhaps the best CS side on paper right through and, and you know they proved it as well. But how difficult was it to see your side go down and then hope like hell that the guys at the Dota side of things are going to take it forward? Um, uh, it was pretty difficult because I didn't want to lose CS but uh, then uh, they played uh, really well and they countered us in uh, crucial situations. Yeah. Uh, there was a round where you know Kappa got 4 kills. If we would have taken that round then the momentum would have shifted and right. we could have taken the game. And personally for you, as someone who's been a gamer for a long time, taking something away, some silverware away, is that something that you'll hold uh, for a long time to come? Yes, definitely. Um, I like the season, I like how we played, I like the, the team atmosphere, the team chemistry. And overall it was a great experience, so I will definitely remember this. Is there any memory through the season that stands out for you? Before the semi-finals, uh, 
I had uh, got a cake and we, you know, cut it in the vanities and we were celebrating that we have reached this far. Yeah. Uh, we were the underdogs since the beginning. No one was taking us seriously, but then we proved that we deserve this spot. So let's enjoy and iske aage whatever happens, happens. But just play your game, just play confidently. So that was a kind of a great uh, memory which I would always remember. Well, as you said, you were the underdogs. You're no longer the underdogs and I think that's what's important to note. It's been a terrific season from you guys and one that all of us will remember. Hope that you have a phenomenal future together as well as a unit and hopefully we'll see a lot more of the marksmen. The deciding match for the third position in U Cypher has come to an end. The scorecard is 11 to 5 in the favour of the marksmen, which means that the marksmen are the second runners up of U Cypher. They've had a very tough journey. They've had moments of joy, moments of despair, moments of doubt, but they showed up every day and performed when it mattered the most. So, Team Marksman had secured the third position in U Cypher, but the decider, the D Day, the finals is tomorrow between the Yakshas and the Sherdevils. Everything that they've been through in the competition all boils down to this. These two all star teams will show us some epic gaming. To watch today's entire gameplay, you can log on to usports.in and we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for the finals of U Cypher Season 1 only on U Cypher and Air Sport. Nice Superstars, a U Sports initiative. My name is Varun. And I'm Aisha. Do you cipher? We are the first and the only team to score 100. Jo bola tha sab hua hai and abhi aaj bhi hami jeetne wale. Pop to awara kutte bhi macha dete, lekin asli dehsa dek share ki hoti.